Hello, welcome to Developer Diaries Part 4. My name is Blue Phoenix, and uh, usually my brother joins me, but he's uh, he's not with me today. Uh, we'll just do this without him. <coughs> we'll be uh, exploring the Codex system in our game, uh, which is based off of the uh, novel by Steven Erickson, Gardens of the Moon. So uh, let's uh, jump into this. So this is where we left off before, um, at the end of the intro, and uh, to enter the codex, you just open the menu and uh, select codex, and here it is. So the codex gathers, uh, when you play through the game, uh, when you meet uh, new characters, or hear of new locations, or enter new locations, or um, maybe you get a new objective, uh, everything appears here in the codex. So um, there, there's not a lot in it so far because uh, we're, you know, very early in the production of the game. But let me just give you a rundown. So here is the people section. Um, these are all the people that we've unlocked uh, in the codex so far, and uh, they each have a little summary, a picture, and a bio to go with them. So let's look at Lorne. So, um, you can see the, the picture, and then just a little background information about her so that you, you're not overwhelmed with this huge number of characters that are just thrown in your face. And then it gives you a basic rundown of, of who she is. Okay. And uh, that holds true for pretty much all of these, except for, uh, so like, uh, Lacine even has one, um, Ganos has one. Um, the Emperor Kellenved does not have one because he's not he's not featured in, in the story. He doesn't have a picture or a little <clears throat> a little list. But uh, Shadow Throne has one, and uh, uh, <clears throat> if you know anything about Shadow Throne, then you know that uh, it's okay for Kellenved not to have his own little picture and stuff. Um, also, this will include groups like the, the Bridge Burners. They have their own little summary in there. Um, so that's the people section. There are also locations. Um, <clears throat> here we only have four locations, so this list will fill up and grow. And uh, basically, this this will help people who may not have read the the books to be able to to get into things and understand where everything is going. So these all have little summaries in them. <clears throat> and you know, you, you don't have to read these. There, there's no requirement to read these, but if you want to get into the world more, then uh, we would suggest reading them. This part is interesting because this is objectives, and uh, th this basically show you, shows you uh, where you're supposed to be going, that, and gives you a general summary of what has happened before if you, if you were confused or something like that. So you'll always have a direction. Um, so currently your only objective is investigate the fishing village, and it gives you a little summary, and it tells you, it reminds you why you're going there and what you will see when you get there. And, things like that. Um, also included are uh, is, are the tutorials. Now, um, there won't be a lot of these, but, um, you know, maybe uh, somebody who's new to game, um, or even some of the mechanics in the game, um, when, when they come across something new, we'll add a tutorial to the codex, and then they can come in and um, you know, read about it, and uh, it, even someone who's more experienced, they may forget something, and then they'll, uh, <clears throat> they they may need a reference that's right there in the game that uh, they can access at any time. And then finally, we have books. Now, books are are really interesting because they're going to be little um, collectible items within the game world that you kind of go out of your way and explore to get, and they they just add like history and. Uh, things like that to the, the game world and really flesh out your understanding. And if you um, collect enough books, um, well, all of them will be featured here in the codex. 
and then if you collect enough, you will get a special uh, reward in game for collecting a certain number of books. So that's that, that's kind of our way of getting people excited about the game world and uh, everything that enta it entails and uh, this wonderful world that Stephen Erickson has built. So that's uh, the Codex system. Um, it's built using Andra's custom lists and pages script, um, which can be found on uh, rpgmakervx.net and uh, uh, I'm sure on other forums around the internet. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's been great. Uh, thank you for your time, and next time we'll uh, get a look at the battle system and maybe uh, walk around the maps a little bit. Uh, right, have a, good, have a nice day.